Alright guys, we're doing um, part one of uh, building our rig here. If you want to check out our first initial video explaining all the parts we're going to be putting into this, go ahead and do so. It's on Tech Vitamins TV channel. But uh, first thing we're going to do is look at this case that we're going to be using for the rig. It's a Zigma Tech Elysium case. It's definitely a large case, but uh, also looks pretty good. Um, it's built well, I would say. Um, before we get into the details, uh, the, the price of this was $220 off a of Newegg. Um, I think the manufacturers suggest the retail price is like $280, but uh, you know, most people get it from Newegg. Good place to get it from. Um, and let's quickly cover, before we get into the details, we got the side panels that it came with. We got one on this side. Um, the reason you can take that off so you can uh, do some cable management, we'll show that in a second. And then we got another side. Another side panel here, which of course also has the uh, lovely window. Nice big old fan right here. So, so this is the side view of the case, and let me quickly show you the uh, other side for cable management. Right here, there's plenty of grommets throughout the case, so you can write your cables in you know, many different configurations. And this portion of uh, the, the case is actually, um, it's, it's a full inch thick, I believe, so you can fit a fan in there, because if you look at it here, if I was to put the cover back on, you can actually put another awesome. fan that's gonna lie right behind one of the chips um, or processors. So there's enough space that you can put one in there. Um, and it'll also give you plenty of space to tuck your cables in uh, and do all the cable management. Alright, so the, the re reason um, I got this case mainly is because it's uh, actually built for the new EVJSR2 motherboard, which is the HPTX form factor. It's a 15 inch by 13 and a half inch motherboard. So, you know, the extended ATX, the regular ATX is going to be much smaller in width mainly. So a lot of cases don't fit. I think there's currently like seven cases in the market, six or seven cases that actually are either built or fit the SR2 um, right away and there's like two more that you have to do a little bit a little bit of mods to to uh, fit it. Um, but in terms of what you can install in here, we see we got a fan controller and it's built in such a way that you can actually move this and put it into different spots. There's a spot for it right here. There's one at the top as well. You can move it. Not just one, but two. Yeah, you have two fan controls, so this case obviously can have plenty of fans in it, but it does come with four fans. 200 millimeter uh, fan on the okay. side, and then it's 140 millimeter one on the back, and 220 millimeters up front in the case. They're all like uh, LED as well. We'll show you that in the last video, which will show the final product and how it lights up. But you know, there's still plenty of fans you can put in there, like the one I showed you behind the CPU. Another cool thing about this case is that it's very well built for liquid cooling. We actually are going to be using liquid cooling, but the radiator, a uh, single radiator with a fan is going to be installed in the 2.52 inch base because it's, uh, it was originally designed for another case, but it fits in here. But the awesome thing is that you can fit a triple radiator with fans up top as well as the bottom, depending on where you put your uh, power supply because it does have two spots power supply. So I'm going to put my power supply, the first one on the bottom, and even after that I still believe you can fit at minimum a single uh, radiator for liquid cooling at the bottom or a dual one, but it'll kind of go into the case a little bit so you have to uh, remove these uh, hard drive brackets if you want to do that. Um, but at the top we can actually pop this thing. There we go. So it has a, uh, I guess, dust catcher dust on there that you can remove and easily clean off. But this is one more thing. That's what I'll show you again. Is you see these different hole configurations. Um, it, it basically is designed to let you install different um, size radiators or fans at the top, which you know many cases don't do. They uh, you have to take a look for what the specifications are, what the different fans you can install in which places. Um, next thing. We're going to get into is the we, we have ten slots for uh, PCI expansions. So I mean it's probably the most you're going to get on a server uh, case like this. I don't see more, and you know there's probably very few motherboards that would even support 
that many PCI cards. Um, the SR2 we're putting in here supports seven. All right, so I'm uh, moving along. Uh, let me turn this case around real quick. It, it has 12, two point, I mean 5.25 inch bays alongside here, um, which right now this includes, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them are being taken out by the two fans at the front. Um, so we still have pretty much six left. And they're, these are pretty, you know, fairly easy to pop out. Not very difficult, and also let me kind of tilt the case a little bit down if you want to open this up. Shut the um, front panel. You know, pretty useful front panel here. The thing slides up and down. It's not like if you pull on one side, it's made a little it's cheap, but it's not bad. Like if you use two fingers, you can do it all day long, not a problem. But it's good. Job done. Exactly. You got two USB 3.0s, which is uh, that thing's useful nowadays. Uh, mic input, headphone jack, two regular USBs, and an ESET uh, plug. And I like this a lot. It's a uh, hard drive docking station, so you can put either a solid state drive in here or a regular SATA drive. Just basically click it in, start downloading your data. Um, in terms of the bays, let me if we turn this around again on the side. It's, uh, in the beginning, it was a little tough to get these all, but once you figure it out, you basically turn it and it pops out, and then you can you know, um, screw in your different peripherals like uh, CD-ROM or fan control, whatever it is. And the hard drive cage is a little bit more difficult to uh, take out. There's a lot more screws, so it's not necessarily the best design, but you know it's a steel case, so it's going to hold pretty nice. We've got these brackets, as you see right here, that don't necessarily need to be there. Um, and if you want to install hard drives into here, you have to kind of take out this whole cage, which is behind the, the fans that are uh, in there currently. Um, but in terms of the build, it's a very sturdy build. Um, it seems like it's going to be a good case. It does come with like another accessory box, even though we didn't do the unboxing, but you can imagine it just comes in the big ass box with styrofoam around it. And there's this box that comes on the inside with the screws and wheels. Now, the wheel, I'm a little doubtful on, I don't know if it's going to support this heavy as rig because the wheel itself is made out of plastic and the frame is made out of metal but it's hard to tell like how far in it goes on these so we are going to put them on after we build this thing and hopefully they hold. But yeah, but I don't really think that's going to hold too well. Right, like but uh, this is still going to be the terminal that we got. Plenty of screws to go around. There's no like awkward thumb screws or anything like that. Everything so far has been pretty easy to uh, pull apart, put together. So um, we're just gonna continue on and get to the motherboard next. Yep.